Fluffy's pretty good. He's a playful cat. He sits on my wife's lap quite a lot. He's a great plaything for her. And he is neutered? No, 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 he isn't. Still a male. This is the first time we've been to Dr. Paul. And what's the problem? He's, he's wet. He, he wets around here on the back of it. Okay, he is fleece. See all that black stuff? Yeah, I that give him That is fleece. A, That's why he's licking. Dr. Paul gave us a lot of technical advice that we needed to know about how to get rid of the fleas. Yeah, he's got a good fight, too. Look at this. He's got a tongue caught, too. See that? Look at oh, that. Oh, yes. Holy Moses. I was giving him different kind of food. He pushed it around on his plate. I had to keep cutting his food so he could eat it. I didn't realize that the reason he was having a hard time was because his tongue had to have stitches in it. And Dr. Paul saw that right away. I can sew up the tongue because that's bad cut and neuter him all at the same time. Okay. Okay. After his tongue is sewed up and uh, we got the fleas treated. One, two, three, four, five, six, ah, oh, heck, many. <laughs> it's a relief to see that he's back to his old self. As you can see, we live on a farm and Fluffy sets in the picture window and pretty soon he goes to the door and he stays out for 45 minutes to an hour and then Fluffy comes back in. We haven't had so much trouble here with fleas in Michigan, but we go to Florida every winter and we have to shampoo him more down there. We'll take Fluffy on our pontoon. We'll go fishing. He likes to see the fish in the pail there. He likes to play with them. He's given us a little more attention. He's a little more loving too. And he's a lot more 